Hello, and welcome to this Hexbug video. Um, so yeah, here we are in the uh, dead of night. Uh, well, almost the dead of night, anyway. Um, here we are actually again at the uh, tabletop battle arena. This time the Hexbug Nano, which you can, I think you might be able to see down there, are up against the... Um, Hexbug uh, Strand Beast um, that I will be controlling. So, yeah, basically we know the rules. If the nanos get this Strand Beast jammed up so it can't move, then they win. And if it goes 20 minutes and um, sorry, um, this still hasn't gotten trapped, or it keeps breaking free, then the Strand Beast wins. So, um, we shall put the Hexbug Nanos on. Now, the nanos have a certain tactic of attacking. They sort, they sort of think of a plan and they sort of circle around um, wherever they're wanting to attack and then they sort of go in. And actually, earlier on this very same day, we did the, uh, me and my dad did, uh, a Hexbug, uh, two Hexbug Fire Ants, in which the Nanos lost, so I'm wondering if they can win against the Strand Beast. Actually, the Strand Beast is pretty big, so the Hexbug is actually going right under it, but they may, if they have good teamwork, be able to, uh, um, win, so... That was actually the most, I think, the most chaotic battle I've ever experienced. So, right. Go on, show control the strategy. Now, actually, uh, it's not as painful as when the uh, fire ants was, when the two fire ants were there, but so far, the nanos are this is a hard time of um, attacking it there. Um, we actually have three sizes of um, battle arenas. Um, a small, a medium, and a large, and this is the largest one for uh, the bigger challenges. Uh, so far, actually, these guys are just sort of trying to navigate in and out for the like, actually a big blow for Sean there. And uh, so far, they haven't ha actually had much luck in, in um, trying to attack it there. So actually, these guys down here are fighting each other, wondering who's going to attack it first. Actually, the uh, battery is completely dead. Well, actually, not completely dead. But it might go at any minute, because I don't know how long it's been showing that it's low for. I haven't been paying attention to the camera. I've been paying attention more on the actual action itself. Now, uh, meanwhile, they're kind of swarming around it. And, um, just, uh, actually a bit of a boil for John there. Actually, no, that was Joe. Um, but forward, hits three guys at once. Oh, a big impact there. That was, who was that? That was, I believe that was Jake. Uh, I think someone is trying to jam it up. I'm not exactly who's 
who that is. And there it goes again, actually. And Sean is actually been righted. These guys are in the corner. I, in fact, if you way over there, I'm way in the corner, I'm going to help them out. Meanwhile, these more of these nanos are getting in the way. This is where they're a bit triumphant over me. Is they knock me off course. You see, I'm going to try and get these guys out. Um. Oh man, big it, big. I think I can't. I can't get it up. I can't get it up. Wow, that battle lasted much shorter than I thought it would. That was a tremendous victory for the Hexbug Nanos. They were just in that corner there. That was a trick. They were playing, actually, on the Strand Beast, trying to get it to go over to the corner, and then they just pushed it over. Well, incredible tactics there. The Hexbug Nanos are usually very tricky like that. It, um... I forgot to say in the rules, it counts if the, the, it counts if they disable it in any way by trapping it or pushing it out or getting it um, stuck or pushing it upside down or on its side or anything. So huge victory for the Hexbug Nanos. Um, I will actually be doing some more tabletop battles in the near future. Meanwhile, I'll celebrate this glorious win that these Hexbug Nanos made. This is a big moment for them. Let's give them a big round of applause. And I will see you next time for another tabletop battle video.